Welcome my constant reader friends. I'm Tad and this is Tad Reads Books and Stuff. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful, happy uh, Thanksgiving and I hope you're enjoying your Thanksgiving weekend if you had both days off Thursday and Friday. Um, that's awesome. Good for you. I hope you enjoyed Black Friday if you did the shopping thing. Um, so here I am. I, I enjoyed my Thanksgiving. Um, I didn't get as much reading done as I thought I was going to get done because I ended up having four days off. But a lot of family stuff going on and family coming around. So I don't know. I just didn't get as much reading done. But I did finish a book. Great. So where do we sit? So, so far in November, you know I'm doing a read-along with Graz on the GKBC of Lonesome Dub by Larry McMurtry. I'm digging it. I really like it, but I got to around halfway, 400 pages of the 800 page book, and I stopped reading it. Now, did I DNF it? No, I'm not. I'm digging it. I like it. I just got 400 pages into it, and I just said, you know what? I'm going to set this aside. I've already, it's like reading a whole novel, right? And this whole novel has been about um, a bunch of lonely cowboys and their one female companion, consort, or whatever you want to call her, that pretty much takes care of all the needs of all these cowboys. Um, and they've just started moving the cattle north. Um, so, but I am liking it. Larry McMurtry really knows how to write a book. And I'm going to get back to it. I just needed to take a break. No problem. I know Graz probably is already done with it. You know we, Graz and I, are doing our marvelous team-up where we read graphic novels. And we are still, we did, there's a video up for the first four chapters in this book. This is the Omnibus 1. There are two of them for Harrow County. And that's by, um... Colin Bunn and Tyler Crook. Scary horror comic book. Really fun so far. Love the artwork. Um, check out that video that we, you know, both of us have done a video on the first four chapters. So we're continuing to read that. Next week, uh, next weekend, a little bit over a week from now, you will be seeing the next installment of that. Also, what I'm... What I'm going to do is, I'm also doing a read along with Graz for Station Eleven. I know he's already read it. This is nothing to Graz. Graz reads this in like, I think, 10 minutes he'll probably read this book. Um, I haven't started it yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into this book next. And so next week, you will see the review for this. And then it's going to be into December... First week of December, first video or whatever, probably before I get Lonesome Dumb, Dumb, Lonesome Dumb, Lonesome Dove finished. So look for this next. Uh, like I said, I saw the TV series of this and I loved it. So I can't re wait to read that. <clears throat> All right, so what did I finish? Well, I finished The Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King. Yep, this is the last book in my Shorty King project, which I started in January, and we're all the way to November. This is the last one. Well, If It Bleeds is the last one, um, but I've already read If It Bleeds, and I already did a video on my channel for it. So you can go check that out if you want. So we're not going to do If It Bleeds this year, but this is the last one in the series. But... Stephen King has announced that he will be releasing another short story compilation novel next year. So we'll have to read that when it comes out next year. But this is the last one in my series. If you've been watching this series all along, um, you know what? I may do a ranking too. Maybe next month. I don't know. I'll think about it. I might do a ranking of my favorite to least favorite uh, compilation novels. Not necessarily the stories, tons of stories. For instance, this one, Bizarre Bad Dreams, this was originally published in November of 2015. This, my version, is a first first, 
and it has 495 pages. In this, there are 20 stories. So there's tons of stories. I'm not going to rank the stories. I think I might do a ranking as a whole for the books. Which ones, you know, I preferred. The ones that were my most favorite, I guess. And I'll rank them all, but it doesn't mean that the last one is, is horrible by any means. Even though some of them I, I kind of didn't like too much. But anyways, stop changing the subject, Tad. Just finish what you're saying. Okay. 20 stories in this. Um, Goodreads has it at a 3.92. And I'll tell you right off, I gave it four stars. Um, so right around what Goodreads thinks. I It's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. But there are some issues with it. This is the weird thing that I found in this book. The first 10 stories in this were great. Some were awesome. Some were great. Some were good. But all of them were very entertaining and I enjoyed all of them. Um, let me tell you. It opens up with Mile 81, which is a story Stephen had written years ago and then lost and then from memory tried to recreate it and write again. Um, it's the first one in the book, and I enjoyed it completely. It's definitely a Cthulhu mythos type story, a H.P. Lovecraft type story, of course. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, Batman and Robin have an altercation I really enjoyed. Um, another story, A Death, awesome. Mortality, awesome. And the tenth one is Ur. If you've heard of her or not maybe you haven't if you haven't read this but Ur was a um a e story that Stephen King Stephen King was approached by Amazon to do a special story for the you know their their e-reader um I have a fire uh which people have asked me do I read on the e-readers I've got I got the fire as a Christmas present years and years and years ago. I loved it. I liked the fire because it was color. And, you know, you use it for searching the internet, other things like that. I mostly use it to play Angry Birds on. Um, I just am not a good... I, I don't really enjoy reading on e-readers. I read Ur on the e... as an e-book form. And I read um, The Hunger Games. And that's it. I've got I've downloaded hundreds of uh, ebooks on it, and I just I don't enjoy reading off them, so I don't if I don't have to. It's a great idea. Stephen King loved the idea. He didn't want to promote necessarily Amazon. He doesn't like to do commercials, um, but he really was intrigued by how you could carry so many books just on on a you know a tablet with you and carry it around and read any time you wanted. He really liked that, so he wrote her. It came out as just an EPUB uh, originally, and that's how I read it originally. And then I read it again because I enjoyed it so much. Enjoyed it the first time, enjoyed it the second time. And then, of course, it was finally published in this uh, book, The Bizarre of Bad Dreams. And I enjoyed it a lot this third time that I've read it in paper form. Um, Really cool story. Another definitely a, a, a Cthulhu S story, but even more specifically, it's a Dark Tower story. So yeah, if if you haven't heard of it, really good story, Dark Tower story. Read it. So here's the thing: one through ten, loved them, right? Eleven through twenty, I didn't like that much. I mean, some of them were okay. I mean, they're entertaining, I guess, but just. Man, it just, it just, it's like it fell off the table. You know, it just, boom, just, it, the, the, every one of them, I, it's funny. The only one of the last 10 that I really enjoyed was the story called Obits. And it's about this dude who writes obituaries. And if the people have passed away, he writes their obituaries, but he's rude. He's mean about them. You know, he tears people down. Uh, it's not these flowery obits. 
and he becomes kind of famous for it, but he got pissed off at someone and wrote an obit about them before they were dead and it killed him. Well, who knows if that's what killed him, but they died. He did it again. They died. He, so it's a cool story. I like that one. It's the only one out of the last 10 that I would say is really, really good. The curious thing that I noticed was on the flap of the book, and this is that nice soft uh, printing style that they do. That I really enjoy. But anyways, in the cover, in the flap here, it talks about some of the stories in the novel. And every one that they mention are in the top 10, the first 10 stories, except for Obits. They mention Obits. It's the only one that they mention that's in the second 10 stories. So I think even the uh, publisher realized that um, the second half of this book just isn't doesn't hold up to the first half. I'm not saying don't read it. They're entertaining. They're decent. They're all right. That's why I still gave it a four. Because the first ten were so good, and the, the second ten weren't horrible. I didn't. I would wouldn't say you know don't waste your time on them. Some of you may get more mileage out of them. You may prefer them. You may like them better. But for my money, Obits is probably it is the best one in the second ten. And let me ask you about Blockade Billy. So Blockade Billy is in the second ten. Uh, if, if you're familiar with that story. It's gotten a lot of traction. People talk about it. I see it. You know, they, they published it, you know, as a separate book. Um, I didn't like it. It was super boring. It's about baseball. I didn't really like it. Um, I don't know. Shoot me. T tell me why I'm wrong about Blockade Billy. Why people like it so much. I don't know. I didn't. So, what am I saying? I'm saying I gave it four stars. And it's definitely worth a read. I don't know where it's going to sit if I if I grade them all. But I did enjoy the first 10 were really enjoyable. And that's what happened when I sat down Lonesome Dove. I picked up this and I just, boom, I was flying through those first 10, the first half of the book. I mean, there's 495 pages in this book. And I was flying through it. And then I hit the second 10 and just slowed down a little bit. But I was able to get it finished. I actually finished it earlier today. So anyways, that's my feelings on The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, the final book in my Shorty King project that's taken me all year. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you stick around. I hope you read this if you haven't. Definitely read Ur. R really great story. And the first 10. Anyways. All right. So as usual, if you found any entertaining value in my videos, please like, subscribe, Give me some comments, and until next time, peace out.